We are going to be fishing the pond today for one last final hurrah. What we got? Yes, yes. And we're hooked up. Oh, we're hooked up in the back, boys. Down in the woods. She doggy. That, yeah, that's what we're after there. That's a little better, son. That ain't bad. So they're back in that. Wow. We never catch fish back no. there. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, oh, he came off. That was a big one. Big one, boys. Oh, my golly. Sheesh. That's what we're after there, boys. Hooked up on the lunker, wow. Banjo. Stay down. Stay down. What's going on, folks? Welcome back. That is right. It is time to move, boys. We are headed out of town. And uh, look at that furry coyote poop right there. Good Lord, right there. Anyways, we are going to be fishing the pond today for one last final hurrah. And then we're packing everything up and we're headed north, okay? Uh, yeah, that is right. It is finally time to move. We've been talking about this for two years now. And now is the time. Now, my main house, the new house, is not completely done. It should be done in like a week or two. But we remodeled a house, um, the old haunted house we remodeled it and got it done and it's macy approved to move into and so if you guys want to see any of those episodes of us remodeling it they are on the beefcake construction channel but today's more importantly about dangling we are going to be giving her a dangle we've got the old easy there cowgirl there it is give her the shove banjo you got it yeah. you got it we are launching the boat on the backyard pond for one final time. We've also got the cabin pond here, but uh, I don't know if I'll have time to go down there and fish it. I wanted to give one last hurrah here on the main pond, on a boat, with Banjo on bluegill duty, Jake and I on bass duty, and see what we can dangle up. I will say, the water temp's still really cold, okay? It's like 50 degrees, it's a little stained. Don't expect much. We might catch Big Sheila, but I don't know, no promises. Uh, but I wanted to give the backyard one last final dangle before saying goodbye to all the memories, the dock, We've got the Doomsday Shelter, we've got the Sniper Tower, the island with the drawbridge. I mean, you guys have seen the videos. There's hundreds of them. It's a bittersweet moment. There's a beaver down there, that little sucker. No wonder all my trees are missing. Uh, it's bittersweet because, you know, we had so much fun. We built this pond here, we built that cabin. We've done hundreds and hundreds of episodes here. Uh, so it is bittersweet, um, but like I said, we, you know, this move was more, it was more important for us to move closer to family. Uh, closer to friends and closer to civilization and you know get the family in a better school district and all that good stuff so here's the deal a lot of the thing same things that we did here uh hunt fish farm build ponds you see the beaver yeah yeah there's another one yeah that's where all our tree that's where all of our trees are going yeah they're they're getting after so um all the things that we do did here for the last we've been here for three and a half years we will be doing at the new property so just just relax the content shouldn't really be changing much we got ponds to build we got deer to shoot we got fish to catch we've got ralph to move over there and deal with ralph things so a lot of it is going to be similar categorized content we're not going to be changing and doing a whole bunch of different stuff the catch and cooks we're still going to be doing all that okay like i said it was important uh for us and my family to move to this location um for multiple multiple reasons and i really think it's an amazing amazing opportunity to do something similar to what we did here which is take a piece of property and really really develop it and get all these ducks horned up that won't show back up in November what how why are you here I lived here for three and a half years I didn't shoot one duck out here how is it that all of a sudden we're about to leave and they're just it's the X yeah I don't understand how this works anyways um so yeah we've got some exciting videos coming up of moving uh the, the entire shop moving the house moving the animals um turkey season's coming up so we're gonna be doing a little bit of that dangling over there um and exploring we haven't explored that property a whole lot I mean there we got places to go check out we've got things to build like I said it's it's gonna be starting from scratch starting over and making some really awesome content so hope you guys are all excited as I am because it is gonna be a good time but that's enough talking with that being said we're gonna jump in the boat grab the Guggen gear and get to dangling you guys stay tuned Shoo! what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video before we jump in I let you know that War Thunder is sponsoring today's video War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made play more than 2,000 tanks planes helicopters and ships in dynamic combined arms PvP battles you can play now on PC Xbox Series X and S PlayStation 5 or the previous console generation the collection of vehicles in War Thunder span over a hundred years of development from the 1920s to present day and they have the most in-depth customization system for vehicles you can apply hundreds of camouflages place historical markings anywhere on your machines as well as 3d decorators such as bushes and equipment war thunder has incredible graphics and 4k resolution so you can fully immerse yourself in the experience you can fly an aircraft using nothing more than a mouse and a keyboard so you don't have to worry about any extra pilot hardware i personally love how realistic the graphics are i mean seriously some of the best smoke industry 
destruction effects I've ever seen in a war game. You can play War Thunder right now by clicking the link down in the description down below and get a huge free bonus pack with vehicles, boosters, and much more. Huge shout to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. It's brands like them that I partner with that allow me to do I do every single day, which means for you guys at home to enjoy. So that being said, let's get back to the video. All aboard, Banjo. Let's see it. Oh uh, yeah, the nice grass. Like you you like the you like the surf and turf? Good news, boys. Surf and turf's coming with us. We're not leaving any vessels behind. I love this boat. It's like one of my favorite boats. The old surf and turf. All right, we're starting off with the Guggen Go 2 rod and we've got the mini clutch. Okay, nice little cold water bait. We also got some dirk baits. We've got some square bills. we got some jigs, banditos, lunker logs, click baits. Night crawlers. And Banjo got night crawlers in case it's a fan. So we're going to see what happens here. Got pretty good conditions to be honest with you. Full overcast action, little breeze. So unfortunately the water is a little bit more sand than I would prefer. But it ain't bad. I'll take it. So I'm starting off with that little clutch. Pretty good cold water bait. And uh, the, the only, I would say the only issue, one issue is you, you you know, you can't work it super slow. Not like a jerk bait or even a square bill. So if I can't get bit on this, we may end up slowing it down a little bit. But boy, I'll tell you what, it feels good to be out here giving her a dangle. It has been a long time since I just came on this pond and went after them largemouth. I mean, a long time. We're gonna end up seeing what happens here. See if we can go out with a bang. Banjo hooks a six pounder on the old night crawler or something. Oh, oh, man, oh, that could have been a log. It's got a quick little bump bump. I'm gonna start here, but there is a good chance the fish are on that side because that's the north side of the lake. And in the colder months, the sun is on the south side and it shoots that way to the north. So that would actually be a north bank because it faces north. That would actually be a south bank because it technically faces south even if it's on the north side. So if you use your Pythagorean theorem and put that all together, that side should be warmer than this side. Isn't that what them scientists say? Yeah. What well, is Pythagorean's theorem? What's he saying? Okay, I just thought of the biggest word I could think of and said it. <laughs> but in theory, the north side of the lake, that shallow, should be the warmest. That's where you're gonna find them spawning. I heard Van Dam say that once, so we're gonna get, we're gonna stick to it. Oh yeah, he's always horned up about that north side. What are you dang with banjo? I'm going you're gonna throw the old crawl crawl daddy. See the crawl daddy? Oh, there it is. There. It, oh, oh, he came off. That was a big one. Big one, boys. Oh my golly. Oh my god. They're biting. Holy smokes! About ripped the rod right out of my hand, son. Oh yeah. I gotta loosen that drag. That was a dandy. I'm serious. That was a freaking dandy. He smoked it, dude. Okay, so they're, they'll eat the clutch. They will eat it. But he put, he, yeah, he, I mean, it loaded the rod and he just pulled off. So he's swiping. He should know better. Swiper, no swiping. You can't be doing that. But goodness, that felt like it's better than the stunted average we have in this facility here. Okay, it felt nice. This bank is windblown. So if they're spawning, they should be on the other side. So be calm and warm. They're not spawning. It's way too early to spawn. They don't spawn around here. Until, oh, 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 he was, look at the swirl. Yeah. Right there. What's going on, Junior? Yeah. They're just being little weenies. They won't commit. Yeah. All right, so now, bam. So this is the north side of the pond. In theory, should be the warmest. It's been out of the wind. Again, it's not really spawn season, so all these things I keep jab jabbering about are more pertain to freaking catching them. Oh, my Lord. You're, all right, okay. Oh, what do we got? Yes, yes. And we're hooked up. And we're hooked up. Yeah, baby. Let's go, Big Sheila. We are on the board. Sheet. That's what was are after there, boys. The Good market. Lord. The old nine and a half. That'll do it. <laughs> I'm selling this box. Good Lord. I'm glad I'm selling this stunted pond. I'm just kidding. This is actually on the smaller side. There's quite a few that are bigger. Honestly, this is smaller than the stunted side. So the fact that this generation got that big is not a bad idea. So anyhow... See you later, Ricky. When in doubt, you just gotta give her a soak, Banjo. That's all. That's all. You, that's all you need. Take that worm, pitch it in there, and don't move it. Let her soak on the bottom, and they can't resist it. One down. Hopefully, we catch one a lot bigger than that, though. We're getting to your bush, though, Banjo. I know how you feel about those bushes, so it's a good bush. he's getting excited. Really? That's pretty hard to believe. No way! Oh, yeah. oh on the crank? Oh God! Let's go! He cleaning it up in the back of the boat. 
Jeez. You let that one slip past you, I man. Know, so did I. Big red. They your worm, Banjo. Yeah, they don't want that worm. worm. That's the old clutch. Yeah. No, that's the old banger. Yep. That's the old banger square bill. That red, though, I will tell you what, that color in the spring changed your life. They really like that red color around here in the spring for some reason. I'm about to stick it in this bush right now. And grab the old Cheeto Bandito, 316 ounce weight. Real slow for them lethargic largemouth. So we can make something happen here. Oh, your boy still got it in between them sticks. Let's see what she's thinking down there. How did she get that stuff in the bush? It's because a fish took it in there. There ain't no way. <laughs> there ain't no way your worm did that on its own, buddy. I mean, he I is feel in a tap or anything. <laughs> you were paying attention to that fish flavor right in the bush. There ain't no way. You're no way your weedless worm navigated its way <laughs> no through the root system that. of that tree. It broke. Red. No, it didn't. Oh, it You're good. The eyelets. I got uh -huh. half the line here. <laughs> wait, give me that back. <laughs> I got wait, half wait how'd that, right? how that happen? How'd that happen? the tree of up here. See, there ain't no fish on there. Yeah, look at all the teeth marks, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he definitely had a fish. He, he, there ain't no he definitely had, like, oh, your rod's about to give her hell, too. Oh, oh what? The, this kid. <laughs> I'm going to use two rods. Leaves, leaves one out. Leaves one out to just freaking figure it out over here. Right. This bush doesn't have no more dreams. You gotta sell. And I gotta sell it. Yeah. <laughs> dreams are turn into nightmares. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know hell. Oh, for Christ. There it is. All right, you're still in business. All right. Man, it's not out of commission yet. I'm only allowed to have one rod now. Oh, what do we got here? Are you gonna hang on, or are you gonna be a? Bitch? Oh my God! You spit it out. No, he picked it back up. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh my God! It really? Broke. Did it? I told you it'd break. You did. It broke off. It broke off. <laughs> I told you it would. I could hear. God. We need to have a retying party now. Wow. <laughs> He's ready. Gosh, dang it! That was a good one too. Oh, we're hooked up in the back, boys. Down in the woods. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. <laughs> Stay down. 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 Oh, come on. Oh, no, he's still on. Stay down. There he is, boys. <laughs> Sheesh. Big it. Sheesh! Oh, see, that's why I use them nice trebles. He just gave it the old swipe. <laughs> that was interesting, dude. I hardly ever catch bass up here. Yeah. So they may be up a dirty and shallow. You go to the back, back. I'm gonna have to take it in the back door here because they're they might be back there. Good lord. Whoa. No, that's definitely tied a palomar to that tree. <laughs> yeah, just a little, that just one got away from me. Not too bad. I've seen worse. Got another one. No That's, way. Yep, really? Whoa! That's Whoa, Van Dam! Dude, they're up there. Van Dam in the, the back. That's a better really? fish. Oh yeah. The longer log and the weed? Dude, he, they're in those sunflower Sheesh. stems back there. This is a better fish. Wow, he's a little better. Alright. She doggy. That yeah, that's what we're after there. That's a little better, son. Yeah. yeah. That ain't bad. So they're back in that. Wow. We never catch fish back no. there. Yeah, that's a better fish. That's about the normal. That's the one you're after there, yeah. They're in there. All right. Boxes. That's two casts that's, in a row. I was gonna say, I'll put that clickbait. I'll see if they'll chase a the clickbait. If not, yeah, I might have to give you a little slow worm. A little soak back there, but all right. Hey, that's that's the size we're after, boys. That's the biggest fish I ever they might be back there. Like I said, I caught one here, have lost one here, and Jake just caught two. So I bet they're back there feeding or just trying to stay warm. Stay tuned. They and they're back in that juice. Good night. First time using bait caster. Huh, maybe it's just a lunker log area. They're not quite horned up enough to chase. Thought if I rolled this thing through and smacked up against a couple of these lilies, they'd get all fired up, but I ain't seen nothing. All right, if you guys at home are watching, what is that in the water? You get bonus points, Banjo. You can't, you can't tell them, that oh, thing. Oh. Only the OGs are gonna know what that sucker is. I hate these sticks. These sticks are made for Jake, not me. <laughs> really? No way. Really? What? 
He come on. He's on there. He's on there. Oh, he's what? Putting on a oh. clinic. Oh, he's tiny. He's a little. He's a little French fry thing. Tiny, tiny one. This they one, are back here this though. Is more our speed here. Sheesh. Yeah. Oh, and we're hooked up, boys. We on with the little banger, little banger fish, little banger fish. Easy does. I can't tell he's hooked yet. Oh, he's hooked right on the top of the face. Easy does it with the old banger fish. Yeesh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Banjo. What you thinking, buddy? You gonna catch one, Banjo? Or? Jake's was bigger. His was bigger, I will say. That's a little these, under average. I feel like these are under average yeah. fish. Where did all the good ones go? Yeah. Well, see you later, dude. Does Banjo need a lunker log, you think? I think he needs to take over lunker no. duty. I mean, there's, let it soak. We're still yeah. getting the reaction bites, but they're just not very big. I think that I had one on that clutch. I swear that was a good fish. Again, they're shallow. They're up there, yeah. But the problem is, this is like pretty deep, so the water's gonna be. That's uh, the old lunker log line oh, there. Like, what? Oh, really? The water's deep, so it's cold. So again, I think that's why they were up in that cut. But I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this thing around the edges. Ben, just gonna grab the lunk daddy. We're gonna see if we can muster up a big Sheila. No. Oh, oh, we're on, we're on. Yes, sir, on the banger. Yeah, this guy got banged right in the face. Look at this, we're on, boys. Feels better, I'll be honest, I'll be honest. He doesn't feel as He's staying small. down there. Oh, no, because he's hooked all cockeyed. He ain't that big. Right in the top of the face again. They're just Sheet. swiping. Yeah, they are just, they're swiping. That was over that hump right there. He's coming up on that backside. Probably should plier this one before we make it to the ER. You got any handy? Oh, there you go. Rip. No, he's fine. He's fine. He's just... Listen, buddy. He's good. See, have you caught a bass yet? Have I? No, I ain't caught shit. <laughs> he's got snagged a lot, though. I think we should crack open a couple beers and just have Banjo take over. I'm down. Really? We'll commentate from the I back. Want, I want him to put on a freaking clinic. <laughs> catfish, I, mean, I ain't going through catfish. You're only on catfish. Do I thought you're bluegill banjo? I switched. Are they my, are I they in hibernation? Oh yeah, he banjo cleans up the catfish one time. Nice catfish banjo. <laughs> he retired from bluegill. Kitty cat banjo. Yeah, kitty cat banjo. Meow. Be back. Good board. Where's that going? That was going up. There. Oh, it that, perfect. That was about to go fit back to the backyard of the house there. There he is, and he's on, and he's on. I banged it off the log. I banged it off the log. I gave him the bang, and she said, "Wabam." Yes, sir. They're just piled up in that cove, huh? That one's that was fat. <laughs> Good. What have you been eating, Rick? Let's see, what we got. Oh, oh some just bit this bandito right here. Really? Banjo, what's going on, Banjo? You can't catch a thing. A little Chubby. tubby little thing. All right. See you later, Junior. So, Jake grabbed the camera and had the bandito. There's a bandito, right? It's just this, this deep. It's, it's this deep, and something grabbed it. <laughs> we can't leave until Banjo catches a fish. That's the deal? That's got to be the rule, yeah. All right. No We're pressure. Gonna be, we're going to be here till midnight. Take out the prop. <laughs> prop. It's just the prop. The prop. It's just the lower unit. I'm on, I'm on, boys. Oh my lord. Banjo, you might need to come and start banging with me. This is getting wild out here. Holy smokes, I can't keep them off. That's a better one, too. Look at you, buddy. That was real light colored. Well, what do you think, Banjo? I'm having fun back here. You might have to throw this. Because at least you don't have to be patient with this thing. You know, you just reeled it. All right, Banjo, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the front of the boat. Really? I'll steer. But yeah, you're, you gotta bang with me. Right. Bang, bros. Just, I mean, steady, but pretty, I mean, fairly slow. Yeah. And you'll just, they'll just load up. They hook themselves, too. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're not hitting on the pause or nothing. It's just straight up. <laughs> Hooked up on the lunker, wow. Banjo. How? Oh, he got me wrapped. Hang on. Hang on. He's still on. It's a Is giant, he, dude. I, he might. Go after him? Yeah. Real in, man, yeah, he's still on, dude. He's still on. Oh, he's always still there. Oh my okay. god. Oh, that's a freaking tank, dude. It was like he was in the brush, but he was just woof, 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 woof. biggins. Banjo, what do you, I retire, banjo. Right, this is a banjo show. No. Banjo. Nobody's gonna, everybody's gonna click off the video right now. Oh, Banjo's about to catch a nine pounder, all right? He's gonna catch a state record real fast. Yeah. Who's, you're in the same, you're on the same. Oh, oh Banjo's got one. one. Oh, come oh, on God. now. On the, the on the banger. Banjo's oh, banging yeah. it up right now. There it is. Let's see it. 
Whoop in your van. Easy van dam. You break that tip. Jeez, good he lord. Looks like he hit him right to it. I want to show you how good the tip is. Where do you grab it, buddy? Oh, good lord. This guy's trying to go to the ER. Where's the damn pliers at? I don't want to let him Banjo go. Banjo does have the gorilla grip. I ain't too worried. I've seen it. Look at that. Shoo. Banjo didn't yeah. get Banjo didn't get skunked. Little That's, Ricky. That's all that matters. They are small today, though. I don't know where big shields are at. Yeah, they're all small. They're, I feel like we never get those small ones. No, that's pretty dang small. Yeah. The fact that they're that aggressive is good. Next generation coming in hot, but Banjo didn't get skunked. Yeah. That's all that matters. Shoo! All right, boys. Well, that is the dangle sesh. We are actually going to head down to the other pond, give you guys a look at that, and give one final goodbye to the off-guard cabin. She's been awesome, and uh, we're going to miss her. Like I said, got bigger things coming. Just just trust me here. It's going to be, it'll be good. It's going to take us another few years to get this property developed where we need it, and now that I've done it all once, I feel like the second time we'll do better at it, so we'll see you guys down there. Before I go, don't forget, click the link down in the description down below to download War Thunder, and you'll get a free bonus pack with vehicles, boosters, and so much more. Huge shout out to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you on the next one. Shoo! Alrighty, boys. Well, the off-grid cabin, that's the last time you guys are going to see this sucker, and uh, actually, the, pre the owners that are buying it actually want me to leave it pretty much as is so we left some of the chairs the fire the tv the beds well we they pretty much wanted we all built the beds in here so they, I don't, yeah they ain't getting they ain't getting out but yeah they the, the owners really like this and they're like we want to keep it. it's like okay you can keep it exactly the same so then we're leaving them with a cooktop i mean some utensils some oil so they've got some good stuff um to use for maybe their catch and cooks now that the catch and cook pond is filled with catch and cook fish that they can catch a cook. But yeah, anyway, so this is like I said, last time you guys will probably see the off-grid cabin. There's a chance we might come back, maybe do a one-year reunion if the owners will let us come down and maybe we can give her a quick dangle and see what happens. But this thing was really fun to build. It was a ton of work. It was awesome to make videos in. I don't know if we'll build something quite this sophisticated at the new place. Maybe we will. Maybe look, we're even leaving them a little fish food. So that way they can they can give her a dangle and, and feed some of them fish. But uh, in this pond, it's starting to moss over. Actually, actually kind of crazy. I bet the water temp's way warmer in this pond than the other one. We probably should, yeah, we probably should have dangled this one. But again, this thing's got the trout, everything. So the new owners are pretty much set up. They are set up for success to uh, to give it a dangle, do some catch cooks. But adios. It was it was good. It was fun. The ponds are amazing. Like I said, maybe we'll come back after one year. But from this point forward, we are no longer filming in this backyard. We are going to move all of our stuff. Like I said, we're going to start with a shop in the house. Uh, that'll probably be its own video. And then we're going to have a whole other video moving the animals um, and getting their pen set up and ready to rock and roll. And then we're this is just a blank slate, ladies and gentlemen. We are starting from scratch and we got to build the ponds. Well, if we build a pond, we got to build a dock. We got to build a boat ramp. We got to build a structure. We got to stock it. And then we have to have all the farm animals. And then we have to have deer plots for deer food plots and maybe even some waterfowl for lucky. It, the, the location of it's a little bit better as far as waterfowl goes. It's not ideal, but it is a little bit better. And then we have a new shop as well that we have to do a ton of work to, like a freaking ton of work. Uh, we got to get the loft in there. We got to get the electricity in there. We got to get water in there. So you guys are in for a ton, a ton of videos, like endless amount of content that you guys are about to see here. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So it's bittersweet. We are saying goodbye officially to the Backyard Pond. It was an amazing three and a half years. But I'm telling you, we're going to go do it bigger and better again. So stay tuned. Subscribe if you're not already. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.